Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. So I just got back from Walmart and picking my husband up from um, off the road. If you ever feel alone, cause yeah, sometimes we'll feel alone. In a second, I'll be right there. Turn around, let it rain, turn around and let it rain on me. Doing today is going to be a chicken pot pie homemade okay so I went in to get some spring mix to go with my crab salad like I said this right here was a dollar and um, 96 cent I need that right there these peas and carrots I just took out of the freezer I'm about to put them in the microwave and unthaw them there and then I will add those to my um chicken pot pie excuse me my husband is home y'all so right here my daughter wanted some nuggets so I got her these these are the only ones that she liked to eat she claims her dad ate all of her nuggets and he said no he didn't so anyway I got another one of those those were those were $4.97. Then I got grapes right here because I eat these grapes in my salad along with my crab meat that I just made. Check that video out, y'all. Please, please, please. Um, oh, and by the way, welcome to the channel. If I didn't say that, if you are new or returning, thank y'all so much for being here. Also, um, to help the channel grow, I need you to hit the like button. I can't emphasize that enough. Please hit the like button subscribe to the channel and join the family i appreciate you being here um i'm doing emergency food meals that you can prepare and stretch out to have more than one day okay so the grapes were the grapes came up to two dollars and forty cent they were a dollar seventy eight a pound um then i got this right here the family size garlic chicken it's the first time i've seen this in here y'all um because they usually have those little tiny birds and you would have to have two of those to feed a family of four really three depending on the size but this is supposed to be a family size garlic flavor i never had that one before so this will be going into my chicken pot pie and then over here i have some cherry berry blend because my son wanted some um frozen fruit for his smoothies and this was i don't have the receipt for that but i know it was nine dollars i think 87 cent for a three pound bag y'all i should have got some from sam so the day when i was in there i would have got more from my money anyway i got one of these cream of chickens i have um cans of these upstairs but y'all i'm not going up there i came straight in and i'm about to wash my hands as soon as i get done my oven is ready okay had to make sure wasn't nothing in the oven then i got these grands um flaky biscuits i either have them on the side i haven't decided if i'm gonna have these on the side with the um chicken pot pie or if i'm just gonna um put them on top and let them cook on top sometimes i do it um either way those were a dollar and eight cents and it's five of those in here and then okay so i got two of those i got these from the gas station y'all these are some little buzz ball chillers watermelon chillers i think it's wine or something like that i don't know anyway i gotta wash these off make sure y'all wash the stuff off um then i got my husband this right here so he can chill and relax and watch his fish tank and my daughter wanted some Takis, but they, all they had was these little tiny bags right here, y'all. And then I got my son these flames right here. And I got me these Flamas Doritos. I don't know if you've ever had these before, but they taste really good. Let me get set up, wash my hands, and wash a couple things off. And then I'm going to start. I'm going to prep everything into this bowl right here. I don't want to touch it because I have not washed my hands. I just want to do this part and then wash my hands. Can't emphasize that enough.
Okay, y'all, I'm back. My kids are arguing in the background, so we're just going to keep it going because I need to sit down. I have worked out twice a day. I'm tired. So what I did was I have this bag of peas and carrots. You can use the um, frozen. These were frozen. I had them in the microwave for a little bit. I have another pack in there just in case I need it. Um, some people use the vegetable ones that have like the green beans, potatoes, and all of that stuff. Um, I don't put that in mine. I put these in mine. But however you like it is how you like it. So I'm going to put my gloves on even though I don't like to wear my gloves because I think it hinders what I'm doing. So I just want to say cheers to you. Oh my God. This little thing got a lot of alcohol in it, y'all. Can you see that? Anyway. I'm doing too much. Don't you see? It smells wonderful. So, I'm going to cut this open. My oven's already preheated. If you hear something humming in the background, that is the um, Ninja Foodie. My daughter is doing her nuggets in there already. So these legs I'm going to save for myself. I get something to put it in. I haven't eaten all day and it is now 529. Okay, so all I'm doing is pulling this meat apart. Some people would not be using the skin, and I'm not going to use the skin. I'm going to sit it over there. Just throw it on my plate. Good thing I got that plate. So I'm going to take this right here. Like I said, anytime you're breaking meat apart, like I told you in the crab video, you can put it in your um, mixer, and it will break it up for you. But they just put this out, I think. So it's tender. This meat is very tender, y'all. I'm thinking you were made for me. It's not my birthday yet, cause I gotta say, you're looking like a gift for me. Wrapped up nice and neat, baby. Express me. The best, um, I think, chicken pot pie is when you're using thigh meat. Thigh meat is so juicy. Okay, so that's it for that. Once you get that done, it's all gravy, baby. I'm going to open this. And we just going to pour it in. Once I mix it up, then I'll see if I need to add another one. So I said, well, you know what? I got these at home, so we're going to make it do it. I need another bag. So this is the second bag. I'm thinking you were made for me. It's my birthday, yeah, because I got to say, you're looking like a gift for me. I love the color on there. That's how you want it. I'm probably going to end up having Can you grab, go in the um, prep pantry and grab me another can of cream of chicken? I might have one. I got this little extra can to be enough. Now this is the name brand stuff. There is a difference. I recommend if you can get these on sale, get these because it tastes so good in your recipes. Not that the other one doesn't, because it does, but it's just something about the color of it. So glad my husband bought me this bowl. Y'all, it's coming together. And that smell of that cream of chicken. You can also do cream of mushroom, however you want to do it. I don't put chicken broth in mine. 
Some people put chicken broth in theirs. I don't. This cream of chicken is enough. So I'm gonna add this extra can. And this is one of my preps that I just took out. Good for me. Nice and thick. So hopefully there won't be any difference. So all I need is this is a 22.6 ounce can of cream of chicken. I feel like my light is up too bright. Of chicken and this one is a 10 ounce. And I already had this out because I was making that crab salad. It's gonna be really good. I already know. Okay, I, I know better. Garlic. I don't have enough salt on my stuff because I cut back on my salt and I guess they figure why you cut back on ours. You see me? So I have these two pans that I'm going to use because um, I don't have a big enough casserole dish. I need to get one. So I sprayed these, even though I probably didn't have to. I sprayed them with a little bit of vegetable oil. And all I'm going to do is, I want you to see what I'm doing. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is put it in the pan. I don't put crust at the bottom of mine. Some people do. I don't. I don't like a lot of crust. Did you watch the That's just me. Now, you don't have to put your biscuits on top. You can cook your biscuits separate and um, sop them up that way. But we're going to put the biscuits on top today. So, before we do the biscuits, I do like to top mine off with pepper. I like to be able to see my pepper. I'll show you these so up close and personal. I feel like I need to pull you over it. So there you go, right there. I'm about to put them in the oven after I put the biscuits on, of course. So, like I said, you can cook these separate. I don't care to cook them separate. When these get done, this is done because the meat is already done. I'm keep them in the oven um, for as long as it takes for the biscuits only y'all and for the biscuits it's going to take 13 to 16 minutes it depends on your oven so I suggest you set your oven for the minimum amount which is the 13 minutes and then check it from there but I'm gonna set mine for 10 because my oven acts flaky sometimes and then I'll check it at 10 to see how my biscuits are. Once the big <laughs> once the biscuits are done, y'all, then I know I'm ready. So y'all, my oven was doing that flaky thing I told you about. It actually took me 25 minutes to cook this because the dough on the biscuits was not cooking correctly. So go by your oven, not mine. The most it should take is maybe 16 minutes. Uh, the next time I do it, I'm just going to cook my biscuits separate. Okay, y'all. So, as you can see, it is done. I didn't want to leave it in there any longer um, because I didn't want the biscuits to be extra hard in certain spots but 
I did have to leave it in there a little bit longer because I broke them apart, but I love the way it looks. And most importantly, I'm gonna like the way it tastes. You hear that? Y'all, this is some goodness right here. Let me put some on the plate. I don't want to eat a lot of that. This is what I'm really going to eat on. I'm going to fix this for my husband. Let me just taste it before I give it to him. You know what I'm saying? That's so good. Look at all that. I left my bare shoes right here. And I actually think I could have put more pepper on it, but I didn't want to overdo it. You know how I had this for my husband. I did say that. I better put some more on here. I think that'll do him. I don't know. Is this my husband? Yo, these biscuits. I had your bedroom shoes, baby. They buy your bed. Mm -mm. He gonna be like, why you broke off my biscuit? Bye, y'all.